Hello everybody on YouTube, Sonic Waffles here, and today it's going to be a short video, you could probably tell by the video length down below, but I wanted to show you a few things, what's been going on, and uh, what I've been doing for the past, uh, well, <laughs> probably for the past, I don't know, 10 hours or so. I've worked 10 hours on Minecraft, perhaps in the past 24 hours, so I've worked a ton, spent a lot of time on it, should have been doing homework, but... You know me, I need to work a lot on Minecraft because I've got a few big projects going on, or a few that I wanted to complete, so I'll get right into it and show you what I've done in my good old potion room. This is what I've been doing for uh, probably about the past two hours right now. Uh, I've, I was doing something else over at the mob spawner. I'll show you what I've been doing over there in just a moment, but same old, same old. It's looking the same, it's nice nice looking right here, you've got your display, everything you need, and we've got a total of seven, I believe, yes, seven, seven potion stands, so we can start brewing up, all the items will fall from those dispensers, across the ice and water, down on top of me, plus we can add some duration and potency additions to all these, but the thing is, it takes a lot to get all of that organized perfectly. And this is a jumbled mess of redstone, but it's precisely calculated and placed just for this to be operable. Now, if you don't believe me, most of these blocks aren't for carrying lines of redstone. They are to keep them from connecting. So I can move a few, but a lot of them I can't at all because it will cross the lines. So I've got to organize from my input and then place it all into a nice little array so I can get all the connections lined up to place them up to a, I forget what this is, uh, it's a big like R, it's some kind of logic, uh, I don't, I'm not exactly too familiar with the names of them, but uh, essentially if any of them turn on, oh, I'm trying to keep the delay as low as possible, but it's just not going to happen, I'm going to have, have to have a few tenths of a second uh, delay, but essentially whenever one button's pressed, the entire line of redstone will be activated. And then what I'll have to do is, if we've got, see, if we've got all the uh, the inputs lined up, you know, harming, healing speed, slowness, everything like that. And then uh, this is where this stops. I think I'm going to do something like this to where, uh, what, what this will be is like, for example, say if, um, if fire resistance is chosen or something like that, we can... I, I don't know how exactly this is going to work, but I was thinking about starting something like this. Perhaps it won't work, perhaps it will. I'm not sure. I don't really feel like bugging with this for a while because I my brain is just completely puzzled. But anyways, this is a little device over here that uh, it works quite well. It's a... Whenever I press a button, uh, remember that this line of redstone gets powered, which means this turns off, which means this turns off, which means this turns on, and when this turns on, this clock will... Oh, oops, this is broken. That's what this is. Yeah, it's broken. Uh, I believe... Yeah, here. All right. So let me, let me simulate a button press by powering this line of redstone. Actually, will that work? It, it will, but that, that's actually not proper. Uh, let me see. i got to find a different way to power this redstone. Uh, Alright, we can just power from here. There we go. So, this essentially gets powered, and what is going on? Something's broken here. Hang on a second, this is not turning out like I want it to. I'm getting stuck in blocks. Why isn't this working? I promise you this was working just a moment ago. Just a moment ago. It looks like it's in working order. Perhaps we should try once more, see what the problem is. The problione. And press. There we go. As you can see, the clock starts up and it's going to keep on going until it emits uh, enough pulses for 21. And this is the 21 tick pulser. Uh, and I picked 21 ticks because I've got 7 out there. And this is going to be for uh, my bottles because I need 20, 21 bottles uh, to fill up all seven of them. So, 
this is going to be what delivers the bottles, but the thing is, we only need seven of each ingredient, so I'm going to have to create one of the same things like this, except just a lesser delay, so uh, one third of this, precisely. And then I've got all of this space to fit in all the logic and all of the if and or whatever, what not, who, what, when, where, why gates, just to see which potions can be made, uh, and it will correspond to all of these inputs which go down to the dispensers that we saw earlier. That is what I have to do, and I am not doing that on camera because I don't feel like recording four hours of footage. That will take a long time, and uh, I'm eating cookies, by the way. I don't know why. I, I made a ton for some reason, and I, I'm going to put that away and grab some steak. But yeah, I, I don't know exactly why I, I'm doing it like this. I could set up like a bunch of dispensers and just have one tick go to like 27 different dispensers, which would probably be... A little bit more sensible because I can make that room taller uh, where the dispensers are like I want to do but anyways I'm going to show you a little clip uh, of me digging this this was actually done with this pick it's an efficiency 3 unbreaking 3 pick I put a level 30 enchantment on it and I really don't know how I got something like that I've never gotten one of these picks before but I've been using it in the nether because I really don't care I want efficiency 4 but uh I got this, so I might as well use it. And this is what I used it for. I used it to build this. You can see me digging up in the top right-hand corner. I'll, I'll put that footage uh, video in video using my magical editing tricks. But the objective of this is to go all the way through the under... Uh, well, actually, not under lava, but uh, just the lava lakes. I'm just supposed to go under them. And uh, it's a lot faster traveling than... I mean, perhaps it would be faster if I you know, dug some... And ender ball or ender uh, ender pearl channels where the what those are is if you dig big arcs in your ceiling you can throw them up at a fort yeah this is just storage I didn't have any chests on the way so I just had to store that even though it's worthless I'm never going to use it but I might as well but yeah you can throw those uh, ender pearls up into those channels and you can travel way faster than this but I'm going to eventually put a minecart track in here because Everyone knows we need minecart tracks to every little place. Am I right? I'm right. So this is getting kind of monotonous, isn't it? Oh, there's there's the end, as you can see. So that's a lot faster than my average trip to the... The... the uh, what's, what's it called? Pigment trap. Well, I don't really have it set up yet, but... I, I've got so many projects I could uh, work on, but... I really want to work on just a select few, mainly the potion room. And I'll eventually work on this again. Maybe once I rethink it a little bit, but uh, you will notice that my big chest of jungle wood has been used up quite a bit. I had that just full of jungle wood, and you will see why in just a moment. Uh, oop, and I did some caving around here, so I'm going to I'm going to do a little bit more caving after this, and then I'll meet you back at the base to do some good old. Uh, some fortune grinding, get some more ores and resources, but yeah, here we go. This is the mob spawner in progress, as you can see. This is the temp ladder. I did, I believe I showed you this once before, but this is how I build them. Uh, essentially what I do is I go up, build all the glass for the water flows, and then build just one spawning pad per level. And as you can see, now, then I got the idea to, uh, build the spawning pads just themselves and then fill all the glass later but there's actually some glass smelting right now but yeah all of this jungle wood it's not that hard to collect compared to uh oh man i'm just waiting for the spruce wood it is going to be a pain in the buttocks and it goes all the way we're in the middle of an ocean by the way which is why this took me so long because that bottom down there i had to fill it all in with gravel and uh, here's the other one that's complete if you haven't seen it here it is uh, it eventually looks like this, all the way down. Here, I'll uh, throw in a few torches to show you that we will eventually get them back. But I do, I, b I believe that you believe me that I'm going to get them back. So, anyways, continue almost. Let us continue, and the, the this will eventually look like that. So, no worries. But yeah, you got to. I mean, this is. It's pretty ridiculous. And look how far you go. You fall so deep into the water. It's crazy. 
But yeah, all of this is gravel and sand, and uh, you can see these big walls of sand, which are so e like uh, this shovel right here. It's so easy to break these walls with this. And also, bad thing about using gravel and a Fortune three shovel is that you never get the gravel back. You always get flint. So uh, I'll show you that in just a bit. Watch this. Ow. Watch this. I believe. Actually, is there any in here? No, there's not. Oh, okay. There is some over here somewhere. Where I think? Oh, it's in this chest back here. Yep, tons of flint. That that used to be gravel, and here's all the glass I was talking about. But yeah, this is this is my current chest of all the stuff to remove water, and uh, the mob spawner. It's working well. Uh, I I've, I've been doing a bit of caving. Actually, are those torches here yet? I think I collected them. I think I did. Anyways, you know, I mean, they they got here. Just, just trust me. Just trust me. They're here. Uh, but anyways, yeah. That's um, that's the mob spawner. If you haven't seen it already, I do like to show it off every once in a while because it's it's a pretty big one. It's uh, it's the biggest one I've seen that's so modular. Like I've seen some ones built in like creative mode, which are just like completely ridiculous. But anyways, I'm going to do a bit of caving here. I've got my silk touch pickaxe, and I will meet you back at the base once I'm done. And we can go fortune three some ores. I'll see you just in a I'll see you in just a bit, not just in a bit. In just a bit. See you in just a bit. Okay, I'm back and because I have two boosts that I really want to use, fire protection three and protection three. I've got uh fire protection four and protection four boots. So instead of just like letting these sit around and do nothing or like just using them for pieces of crap, I'll turn them into diamond boots and therefore I can enchant them again and uh, I really just lose 60 levels and two diamonds but instead of having those crappy boots I can re-enchant them anyways this is uh, this is actually not what I wanted to do this is what I wanted to do is that yeah that's a good pick um, here we go there's some juicy loot and we are going to kill you. I'm going to have killed you here, kill you here. Alright, we're going to do this somewhere nice looking. Let's see, let's see, where are we going to do? Ooh, this doesn't look good. I'm actually, go I've got something to put there. Uh, don't worry about it. And let us do it in the potion room. So, here's 15. So, I don't know how many exactly you'd get. I'm not going to... There's some ooze, oozing around, oozing around here. I don't like it, girl. Alright, we're going to see how much of this stuff we can actually get. This worthless lapis. Actually, I've got like five stacks of blocks, so uh, I've got to find a use for this stuff. I really don't have this many sheep to die. Uh, but I like killing sheep, so I guess they could die. But anyways, there we go. So three stacks. Three stacks plus two. Let's go ahead and that's gold. I can't do that. Just need to smelt that. Let's do this redstone. This is going to be a lot of redstone. This, oh, yes. I'm going to need a lot. Of, I've been using so much of it in this uh, project right here. Just because the thing is about this project is that uh, if you want everything compact, then you got to use a lot of uh, redstone repeaters to, uh, to keep things from lap overlapping. So you're going to introduce a lot of delay that way. But if you want to keep things far away, then your tracks are so long that the redstone power can't get to all of it, so you have to add repeaters in line. So you're going to add delay either way, so you might as well make it compact. But whatever, you can do it whatever way you want, but uh, I like big rooms and trying to make it as compact as possible, and then perhaps even doing the project over to uh, make it even more compact. Uh, I have done that before, but I'd, I'd rather not. I just want to do this and get it over with, because man, this is it's a lot of thinking in redstone. A lot of thinking. And a lot of experience in redstone. Jeez. Look at this. I'm already level 10. Oh, the XP. So delicious. Now, I would normally have 10 diamonds. But, oh, by the way, 5 stacks. Sounds good. Plus 25. 5 plus 25. I would normally get 10 diamonds out of this. But, with Fortune 3. Oh, look at Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, oh. Look at Instead of 10... I'll take 18. That's good enough. It is a lovely little cave run. All of these resources. Beautiful. Beautiful. But anyways, I just wanted to show you what I was go I was doing today. Perhaps uh, 
maybe a Call of Duty video tomorrow. I'm not too sure. I do get tomorrow off, so I'll have plenty of time to uh, play a little bit tonight. Got to do some homework tonight, though. I need to keep up on the good old school work. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and as always, have a good one.